He respond to apple calls. Promise to monitor Thomas and Namde Kano's case. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now according to the news of today, the European Union has promised to follow up on the case of Mazen Namde Kano promptly as it reaffirmed that it is the right of Mazen Namde Kano to have fair trial which is enshrined in the EU's external human rights policies. They noted that the European Union have been informed that the Nigerian government appealed the ruling that discharged and acquitted Mazen Namde Kano of all court charges. This is coming on the third week of IPOP call campaign in which IPOP leadership ordered all the IPOP members worldwide to engage the European Union in a call while using the opportunity to call the attention to the unlawful detention of Mazen Namde Kano and the magnization of Bia France at large. In an email response sent on the 8th of May 2023 to one of Omuchuku writers media who engaged in the core campaign, the EU assured that they are confidently following up on the case of Mazen Namde Kano. Here is European Union response, dear Mr. Thank you for contacting the Europe Direct Contact Center. We have consulted the European External Action Service, EEAX. Please find below the answer to your question. The European Union has a long standing and clear position on the right for a fair trial, which is a priority in the EU's external human rights policies. The EU has been informed that the government has appealed the Kano release order by the appeal court to the Supreme Court and the ruling is expected. For the 11th May, we will closely monitor the case European Union concluded. Recall that Mazen Namde Kano was extraordinarily conditioned back to Nigeria from Kenya for almost two years now and has been illegally held in DSS solitary confinement by the Nigerian government despite various court orders from Api Court Abuja and the Federal High Court Omaha asking for his unconditional release. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis. This is exactly what they should be doing. Those who claim that they believe so much in people's rights, those who human rights is enshrined in their chapter or constitution, whatever, should understand that it is very bad and appalling. For someone like if Mazen Namde Khan, a freedom fighter, to continue to suffer in the hands of some criminal minded APC government led by Muhammad Buhari. We have to put it in the way it is. If not, that contraction will continue to remain the way it is. A man who happens to be a freedom fighter, preaching the word of Jah. He did not carry a weapon against anybody, apart from doing everything possible to protect their land, the land of the eastern region, that Buhari himself allowed so many criminals in name of his kinsmen to destroy key farmers, rape women, 
and a gentleman rose from somewhere that God sent to go and lead their people. Go and rescue them from hands of the enemies. What this government did was to do everything possible to name him by going ahead to kidnap him in Andamas country with the help and collaboration of that same country called Kenya. For so long he has been in DSS custard and so many courts in Nigeria has set him free. Go, you did not commit any crime. Both the court, both the federal court in Omaha, other state. Upon that, a current that we have in Asoro who refused to obey court orders, who sees the constitution of Nigeria as shithole, maybe that is exactly what it is. Decided not to allow the gentleman to go. In fact, he disobeyed the whole court orders. A constitution that he's supposed to protect. He neglected it because of his selfish reason as self-centered. Because he see both as Miss Minty that he can chop anything he wants. And others are supporting him because it is not them. All this why both United Nations has told Nigerian government to free the gentleman, but Nigerian government refused to be. This was the people who explained and claimed that they are going to release the gentleman if God said, let him go. But all of a sudden, the starant president continued to detain a man that the court of law has set free because he does not believe in the so-called law, because he sees Nigerian constitution as shithole. And today, he has inaugurated another, dubiously, to continue from where he stops. All we ask is for the release of Namde Khan, since the world powers has now kept quiet because of our resources that they continue to suck free of charge. United, United States has refused to do something. They refuse to call Britain to order. Because they are complicit to this crime. No matter what you say, I have said it before. From the beginning, that Biden was elected as United States president. I told so many of you that Biden will behave like what he is. And you saw it happen and continue to happen. How so many people in Benue has been massacred for no reason. Something that stopped when Trump was the president of America. All of a sudden, everything started again. Doing this sin mass and the committed is because he is fighting for the freedom of his people. His own right and right of his people. In a contraction where you refuse to make the country a better place, what do you expect from those living that you forced into that same contraction? They must look for a way to live. The EU should do the needful by making sure they observe what Nigerian government is doing against this gentleman, Gomez Namdekan, J. Biafra.